Koi. Fans despair as Bethany Platt stabs Gary as he tries to save her from evil grooming gang. The abused schoolgirl flew into a tearful rage and smashed up the Platt household as her mother tried to intervene in her abusive relationship. Coronation Street fans were left aghast and heartbroken as an unbalanced and emotional Bethany Platt flew out of control as her loved ones tried to save her from her evil boyfriend. As Bethany flew into a rage and stabbed her Gary Windass and fled her family home, viewers were left agog as she foiled her own escape from Nathan's grooming gang. Having woken up from a drunken stupor, the schoolgirl resorted to desperate measures to get back to her abuser. Lucy Fallon's performance was described as emotional and harrowing. Taking to social media fans of the Northern Soap flooded Twitter with their emotional tweets, praising the actress and revealing their horror and heartbreak at the latest twist in the dark storyline. That episode was honestly so heartbreaking I can't deal just wish Sarah and Bethany would be happy again and not so heartbroken, sick, tweeted one viewer. At Lucy Fallon at Tina Obu broke my heart tonight but what an amazing portrayal of an incredibly well-written story. Absolute respect, another fan opined. It came as the two-part installment of the soap saw the 16-year-old schoolgirl, who has been at the center of a recent harrowing sex ring storyline, turn violent after her Sarah rescued her from Nathan's flat. Having introduced her to his creepy rapist friend Neil, Nathan had also encouraged Bethany to meet his other associate Ian, something which sent alarm bells ringing in the teen's head. Her mum threw her a lifeline by asking her to go to a wedding fair instead of to Nathan's sordid party but just as Bethany was about to leave with Sarah, Nathan showed up and manipulated her into getting into his car. The schoolgirl was then pressured into changing her clothes and was given a skimpy, inappropriate outfit to wear before being plied with alcohol and passing out on Nathan's sofa. Sarah, however, came to the rescue and arrived at Nathan's flat, only to find her teenage daughter unconscious. Calling Gary she took her back home, horrified and worried about what is happening Bethany. But when the teen woke up, she was so scared about what the repercussions of missing Nathan's party, she flew into an emotional rage and smashed up the Platt house. She then became even more violent stabbing her mum's partner Gary in her anger. The act of violence is said to cause even more problems in Bethany's relationship with her not-quite-stepdad, which could see her being driven even further into Nathan's trap. Things are set to get even darker for Bethany before they get better as photographs taken on the coy set show Nathan burning his young girlfriend with a cigarette, causing her to scream in agony. But she is set to find an unlikely ally in the form of Mary Taylor, the florist's assistant in Weatherfield's flower shop, who will notice Bethany's fear in an upcoming episode. Mary and Bethany are going to form a nice friendship, Lucy Fallon, the actress who plays Bethany, told OK. Magazine Mary has been raped before so she's going to come in handy with Bethany when coming to terms with what happened further down the line. Mary, played by Patty Clare who actually conceived her character herself and pitched it to coy bosses was sexually assaulted at the age of 14 and fell pregnant with the rapist's baby. She later abandoned the little boy on the doorstep of a church, and he was named Jude after the religious building's saint. The florist's assistant has been keeping an eye on Bethany since the teenager ran into her shop to escape from her creepy older boyfriend Nathan. Friendly Mary gently asked Bethany a few questions about Nathan and pointed out he was a bit mature for her, adding that her mum Sarah must be very concerned. But Bethany was unable to open up to Mary as Nathan came in at that point, steering the terrified-looking girl out of the shop and away from Mary's suspicious gaze. But while there's light at the end of the tunnel for Bethany, star Lucy believes her it will be a long road to recovery for her traumatized character. Viewers have been gripped by Bethany and Nathan's shocking storyline, which accurately portrays the relationship between a groomer and their victim, the survivor who worked with the coy stars told the mirror. Lucy whose name has been changed to preserve her anonymity, was groomed online from the age of 10 by a much older man, who went on to evade justice for his sick crimes. 
she met with Lucy Fallon to give her some tips on how to play the traumatized Bethany, leaving the Koi star in tears. But in news that will brighten Koi fans' day, Nathan is finally set to get his comeuppance by getting arrested in an upcoming episode. In pictures taken from the set, Nathan can be seen scowling and shouting at Bethany in the middle of a busy food hall as she tries to placate him. Clearly incensed at something, he can be seen looming over her as shocked bystanders look on. As the row escalates two police officers come to Bethany's aid and haul him off, though whether his real crimes will come to light are another matter. Other matter.